All right, it's Thursday, y'all. The cab is downstairs. You know what that means. It's time for my doc, my monthly doctor's appointment with Dr. Delaney. Well, goddamn, New York shit, you loud. New York is carrying today. But yeah, it's time for my, my monthly doctor's appointment with Dr. Delaney, see how I'm doing with my, my kidney and my transplant and all that good stuff. Uh, yo, we are dumb early for my appointment, so we're gonna, we're gonna hang out. No, they're the same. Okay, I'm here. I guess today they're running behind because y'all, I've been here almost an hour now. And no, nothing. Like they have not called me in, nothing. So I'm like, what the hell? Plus, I also want to go downtown and try and get the mount that I was supposed to try to get the other day for this microphone because this shit is distracting. It's like shaking back and forth. So I'm gonna try and get an amount for it while I'm in the city. Cause I have to go to work later this afternoon. And then they're closed. I'm off on Saturday, but they're closed on Saturdays. And I don't remember if I'm work um I'm Sunday I'm working, but I work at like five o'clock in the morning on Sunday, so yeah, I'm not yeah, I don't have time. Like I'm in the city now, let's get it now. See, this is what my setup looks like. This is, you know, the camera and everything like that. If you look right, let me see if I can bring it. If you look right there, you see how it's broken? You see how it, it jiggles? It shouldn't jiggle like that, not even a little bit. It should be solid and stationary. I don't know how it broke. I have no clue how it broke. But I've glued it, and apparently, like I said, the type of plastic is that it doesn't hold crazy glue well. I tried the Gorilla Glue. I'm just done with it, so I, I need to just get like another, you know, another mount. Do you guys remember back? <laughs> that was creepy. She opened the door. <laughs> she opened the door and just looked straight out. Do you guys remember back in April when I went to that uh, Celebrate Life thing in, at St. Patrick Cathedral? This right here is an organization that had it. That, you know that sponsored it so I'm really surprised so yeah I just didn't expect that to see that here at all we finally made it and they're finally open thank God people in B&H are extremely helpful so I got Okay, I got good advice, because, yeah, I got, I got good advice, period. So I'm gonna try to use that for my vlogs. Um, the next thing is I got the microphone, new microphone, and I'm also getting a tripod. They're also throwing in a free carrying bag for the tripod, so I'm like, life, I'm, I'm happy about that shit. <laughs> and I, got I stayed, and my mom getting headphones. And I'm staying, I'm staying within the budget. Which is good. No, the tripod wasn't even in the budget. Yeah, the tripod wasn't in the budget, but I'm saying in the budget I had in my head. Nice. <laughs> okay, take two. How does the microphone you sound? Heard what I, said, I told the kid, I said, just give me a bag with something as long as it's nice. <laughs> he said, yeah, it's not like, I said, yeah, we, neither one of them know what's missing. Okay. He said, yeah. He said, I'm just going to find me anything. <laughs> yeah, we're having a problem getting out. Getting out. It says we have one thing missing, but we have everything. Whatever. That was the worst cab ride ever. Ever. Don't you ever, don't you agree? Ever. Horrible. I'm about to cuss his ass out, but then I thought you would say something. No, I thought she was gonna curse him out. I was gonna curse that motherfucker out. You know me. I really thought she was gonna curse him. Like, then you started talking all nice things. How the fuck was that gonna work out? Because you just cursed him out, and that's it. I should have been talking nice to him. Yeah, but that was the worst cab ride ever. Do you see 
leave this motherfucker. Do you see? Do you see it? Do you do you see it? This Yo, that man was so fucking nasty. Like, dis disgusting. And then they had no shame about it either. Like, come on now. Hey. <laughs> do you see this dirty hey. old man right here? In the city. Nah. Mm -hmm. See this woman here, right? She's just laying down trying to relax. He was just trying to like just like just be nasty. Like nasty dirty old man. That's what I was dirty old man. Alright, so that girl that, that the old man was staring at, apparently she's like homeless or whatever. And like a you know, and a recovering drug user. I don't relate to that last part, but I understand being homeless. So she says she's hungry, so I'm gonna buy her some like a hot dog and something to drink. I'm trying to be nice. Later. It's fucking ridiculous. And I don't care. At least my hair is not going Fucking ridiculous. <laughs> Yo, I had a very uneventful night. Well, I mean, this I, this stuff I probably could complain about or whatever, but I'm gonna choose not to because yo, meeting Brooke today, like. I don't know, it's like, it, it did something to me. Like, I don't know, I've, like, I've been thinking about her all day, well, all night, since I, freaking, since I met her. Actually, hold on, me, me, let me finish this when I get home. Okay, now that I'm home and nice and comfortable, as I was saying, like, yo, ever since I met Brooke early, earlier today, you know, that, that was the lady who was, like, you know, on the, on the park bench, like, Yo, I have not been able to stop thinking about her. Like, I really, I honestly, I really, if I really recall, I think she was like the first ever homeless person, like actually like living on the streets that I've ever really actually talked to and had a conversation with. And like, like just talking to her, like I can see like, you know, she came from like, you know, a good upbringing and... You know, she was, you know, she's well spoken and everything. She just fell into drugs, like she fell into that life. And now I know nothing about, I know nothing about that. I know nothing about, you know, actually being hungry on like day, like for days on end. But for whatever reason, something, something with her, I connected with. And you know, I, you know, I, I got her some food. You know, she said she was hungry. I got her some food. Um, I can tell she was very, you know, my, me and my mom, we could tell she was very grateful, you know, for we, you know, for what I was able to get for her. But I felt bad. Like, I felt like I wanted and should have done more. Especially since, you know, I had just, you know, spent this money on this microphone. I brought the tripod, you know. Like, I just felt like, you know, what, like I should have or I could have done more. And I don't know. Like, it's just... I don't know something about like you know like I've lived in New York City in my my entire I, well not in New York City but I lived in New York my entire life I lived in the city for almost 20 years now and usually like you know like when like you know I come across someone like her like usually I, I like you know I ignore them or like I move to the other side of you know the bus or the car or whatever it is the train car or whatever it is but for whatever reason, I don't know what, like, something said, you know, talk to her and then look out for her. Like, you know, when she was there, like, I understand, like, you know, it was really hot out. You know, she was trying to, you know, stay cool in the shade. And where we were sitting in the shade, yo, it was dumb cool. Like, there was a nice breeze and everything. And the, the, the creepy old men were like, it was just ridiculous with 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 them. Like it was just so fucking ridiculous. Like, you know, like we sat there. I think we sat there for like thirty, like thirty five minutes or so, maybe a little longer than that. And just the, like you know, people stared. You know, women, men, black, white, Asian. You know, they all stared. Uh, you know, some stared to me to make sure she was okay. Others stared because like they were just like just being fucking creeps. And I guess that's what. I guess because being that my mom and I were there to protect her or whatever, I guess that's what gave me the connection. But I know one thing, like, whatever it is, like, 
touch it touched something in me 